Hello, my name is Rabia Ali, and I'm currently a gastroenterology fellow at the New York University School of Medicine. Today, I will be discussing an article written by my colleagues and I entitled, Deep Enteroscopy with a Conventional Colonoscope, Initial Multicenter Study Using a Through-the-Scope Balloon Catheter System. Our study included data from nine different centers, seven of which were in the United States, one of which was in Germany, and one in Israel. The centers, in no specific order, included New York University School of Medicine, Duke University, the University of Chicago, Geisinger Health System, Indiana University, the University of Colorado, Johns Hopkins University, and the Tel Aviv Sarasky Medical Center in Israel, and the University of Erlangen, Nuremberg in Germany. In our study, we analyzed the efficacy of a novel on-demand balloon catheter system used for small bowel enteroscopy. The catheter, which is approximately 350 centimeters in length, is inserted through the instrument channel of a standard adult colonoscope. The proximal end of the catheter is attached to the Navi-Aid Spark System, which is an inflation-deflation device, and it works to keep the inflation pressure constant at 60 plus or minus 10 millibars. The catheter with the deflated balloon at its tip is advanced 20 to 30 centimeters into the small bowel where it is then inflated to a maximum of 4 centimeters in diameter. Once fully inflated, the balloon is anchored in the small bowel and the endoscope is gently advanced forward as the balloon is lightly pulled back towards the scope until the balloon is flush against the scope tip. This live footage depicts the endoscopic view during this advancement step and you can see as the scope is advanced towards the inflated balloon. The balloon is then deflated and the catheter again is advanced into the small bowel approximately 20 to 30 centimeters and this push-pull technique is repeated until the targeted lesion has been reached. The group of physicians in our study were presented with the unique opportunity to work with the Navi-Aid on-demand through the scope single balloon catheter system for deep small bowel enteroscopy. Having had experience with both single and double balloon enteroscopy, we were excited at the prospect of a single balloon on-demand device that could be wired through a conventional colonoscope as needed, with no need for specialized scopes, and with a single-use functionality could be used only once and then disposed of, decreasing cross-contamination between patients. In our study, we were interested in investigating the diagnostic yield procedure time, and average depths of insertion for this innovative tool and comparing our data to that available for single balloon enteroscopy, double balloon enteroscopy, and spiral enteroscopy. Given the limited number of procedures that were performed at each individual site, we worked to pool data from the nine centers mentioned earlier to improve the sample size and in effect the power of the study. The end result was 98 patients ranging from 15 to 94 years of age, 65 of whom underwent anterograde enteroscopy and 33 of whom underwent retrograde enteroscopy. In our study, the average anterograde depth of insertion past the pylorus was approximately 158 centimeters with a range of 50 to 350 centimeters. The average retrograde depth of insertion was 89 centimeters with a range of 20 to 150 centimeters past the ileocecal valve. Our literature review revealed the depth of insertion ranges for anterograde enteroscopy to be listed as 220 to 360 centimeters for double balloon enteroscopy, approximately 133 to 270 centimeters for single balloon enteroscopy, and 175 to 250 centimeters for spiral enteroscopy. For retrograde enteroscopy, published reports have revealed depth of insertion ranges from 75 to 183 centimeters for double balloon enteroscopy and 72 to 199 centimeters for single balloon enteroscopy. Our overall diagnostic yield in the study was 44%. The reported diagnostic yields for single balloon enteroscopy is cited to be 41 to 65%. For double balloon enteroscopy, it is cited to be 40 to 80%. And for spiral enteroscopy, it is thought to be 30 to 65%, showing that our diagnostic yield was comparable to the previously known diagnostic yields of the industry standard. Our average advancement time was approximately 15.5 minutes, with average procedure times being 17 minutes for anterograde cases and 23 minutes for retrograde cases, which includes both the advancement and withdrawal time. 
Procedure time for double balloon enteroscopy is known to be 60 to 123 minutes. For single balloon enteroscopy, it is 57 to 72 minutes. And for spiral enteroscopy, it is 35 to 52 minutes. This study is important because it investigated a new endoscopic tool that can easily be used to complete deep enteroscopy using a conventional colonoscope and improves patient care by limiting procedure times with comparable efficacy, diagnostic yield, and depths of insertion to the current industry standard of single, double, and spiral enteroscopy. In terms of next steps, we absolutely foresee a prospective study evaluating the efficacy of this device. We also foresee this tool becoming a standard asset in endoscopy units. The on-demand functionality allowing for enteroscopy if standard upper endoscopy and colonoscopy are unrevealing and there is a need to investigate the small bowel in real time, obviously assuming that the patient has been consented for this procedure. Collaborating with such accomplished and renowned clinicians was really an amazing experience, especially for a young trainee like myself and we are really excited to share our research with you. Thank you for your time and attention to our study.